In my day to day work, especially on the channel, I use a lot of API keys. Whenever I am testing a tool with OpenAI or with Anthropic or any other API based provider, I tend to use their API keys in the code. Sometimes I share that code with you guys or on my GitHub repo or elsewhere. One of the things which always worry me is that if I have uh, mistakenly leaked my key or forgot to mask it or maybe when I'm doing that video I have put it in the key on the GitHub and I forgot to simply delete it afterwards. That is where I just stumbled upon this open source tool called as Git Leaks might be of help. So what this tool does is that it helps you in detecting the hard coded secrets. It is not just about API keys, it's about other secrets too. It's an open source regex or regular expression based security tool to detect these secrets such as API keys, passwords, tokens and credentials in the code repository files and data streams. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to install this locally and I will show you how easily you can detect these secrets in your code or in your files. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it helps a lot. I also want to introduce you to our very good friends at dat1.co who are sponsoring this video. It offers serverless AI model hosting service with minimal cold start delays and that enables a rapid and cost effective deployment. So please do check them out. I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Coming back to this Git leaks, its primary utility lies in preventing accidental exposure of sensitive information in version controlled systems like Git, where secrets can be inadvertently committed and persist in history. Git leaks is widely used in DevSecOps pipelines to enforce security policies during development, CI-CD workflows, and pre-committed checks. It supports multiple scanning modes like Git directory and std in, integrates with Docker, GitHub Action, and pre-commit hooks, and generates reports in formats like JSON, CSV, JUnit, and Serif, making it adaptable to various development environments and compliance needs. I will discuss it more, but let me first show you how to get it created. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system. The only prerequisite which you need is this Docker. I already have a recent version of Docker installed. If you don't know how to get it installed, just search my channel. I have done a very simple to follow video. I'm just going to install it from Docker Hub. It's very lightweight and you can see that it is already installed. So that is all done. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to go back one directory. Maybe I will quickly show you one working example. Let me create a new directory. So I'm just going to create a new directory and then I am uh, going into that directory and checking uh, one secret. It's a fake secret which I have just placed in that test repo. So I'm going to now run this git leaks on this repo. So you see that I am uh, RM is showing <clears throat> in this docker command that I'm going to remove the container after running. I'm mount mounting this test repo within the container. And then I am just accessing the recent one. And this is the path which I am using. And there you go. You can see that it traversed that directory. And now it has identified, identified it and it has given you the response back. Let me explain what exactly is meant by entropy rule secret and how exactly this thing is working. Let me take you to their um, diagram which they have shared. If you look at this diagram, this tells you the whole picture. The architecture of Git leaks is built around a rule based detection engine written in Go that uses the RE2 regular expression engine for efficient and safe pattern matching. It follows a modular configuration model using TOML files that allows the user to define, extend or override detection rules, allow lists and entropy thresholds. The tool can operate in different contexts. It can scan Git history for past leaks. You can also do checking um, the working directories for uncommitted secrets or processing input via std in. 
It also supports advanced features such as recursive archive scanning, such as, uh, you know, your tar file, your GZ files. You can also use it for decoding of encoded data like base64, x% encoding and composite rule that require multiple conditions to trigger a finding enhancing um, and other sort of features which you can readily use. If you look here, Git leak is working by combining three key mechanisms, regular expressions or regex, entropy analysis and allow list. First, it uses carefully crafted regex patterns like the generic rule to identify strings that resemble secrets based on keywords like password, token, API keys and syntactic structures like key value pair. Secondly, it applies Shannon entropy calculations to assess the randomness of matched string. Only those exceeding a configurable threshold, typically around 3.5 bits per character, and those are considered potential secrets. This helps filter out low entropy false positives like something, um, you know, where you have just put in some testing data. Thirdly, it uses allow list both global and rule specific that ex exclude non-safe patterns, path commits or contextual matches, for example, variables not named like API version. So API version is not a secret, but API key uh, variable name might have a secret attached to it. So that refines detection accuracy and that is why it works quite nicely. And now let me show you all of these features in action, which I have just mentioned. For that, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go here and from here, I'm just going to create a new directory. I'm just calling it something like complex scan or something. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you how to use Docker custom configuration, maybe something like composite rule, archive scanning. We will also check out decoding. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to create a project and then scan this project containing nested archives, maybe some uh, encoded secrets and few other tidbits which I will show you. So I have just created this folder. Next up, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to maybe create a false secret, something like DB password here, as you can see. And then maybe let's, uh, for the purpose of demo, let's create this tar file and I'm going to compress it. It is also done. And maybe just for more sample data, I'm going to also throw in this API key and I'm just creating these files as I do. And maybe I will also create a test file, create, you know, with an sort of an allowed secret. So this is some, you can, you can see that's a test token, something like this. Now, let me open this in VS code and I will show you some, you know, the configuration uh, of git leaks in a toml file. So first I'm just going to open everything in VS code, this whole directory. My VS code is open. Let me first create this toml file. I will then explain what is happening. So this is a toml file. Let me clear the screen. Let's go back here. And this is a toml file, which I have just created. So let me explain what is happening here. So all I have done, I have first created the title and this is available on their GitHub repo and I will drop the link to it in video's description. So after defining the title here in this toml file, I'm extending the default rule here. I'm adding a composite rule which requires key or token near the match. And then you see that I am just simply giving it an allow list for test files and git leaks colon allow. And then it is also going to respect all the inline allow comments. So that is all there is to it. Um, so what I described earlier, I have just put it in the toml file. Okay. And you can see that you, how powerful it could become and you can readily embed it into your own pipelines. And now you can run this git leak with this, um, toml file, which we have just created. So you see we are dash dash config is showing that we are giving it our own configuration. And then we are telling it that, uh, scan inside dot tar and dot gz and zip. That's it. And we are also asking it to decode base 64 and hide actual secret in output. Maybe we don't want to put it in our Docker logs and that sort of stuff. And then also generate the serif report, which is compatible with GitHub code scanning. So you can also integrate it with a lot of other tools. So let's run. This. 
and there you go as i have run this you can see that it has successfully scanned our directory and then once it scanned it it is sharing all the three secrets across different files including inside a plain file and within a zip file which is an archive each finding includes key details like the file path line number rule id and entropy entropy is simply a measure of randomness in the secret the fact that secrets were found in you know hidden and zip file confirms that git leaks correctly traverse the archive due to the max archive text to flag so pretty good i would say uh, let me know what do you think about this nifty little tool which is open source and free mit license please like the video and subscribe to the channel as that helps a lot thank you for watching